how to create a performance max campaign inside your Google account. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to walk you through step by step how you go about implementing one and launching one in your own account. And if you stay through to the end of this video, I'm going to show you the data and the results behind a performance max campaign that I ran in a live Google ad account. Alana here from teachtraffic.com. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon for future videos, and let's dive right into a live account. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it. So here we are in our live Google ad account. And as mentioned, Performance Max is what we're going to be implementing. Just so you know, Performance Max campaigns are going to put your ads across all of Google's real estate, Google search, display, YouTube, Gmail, discovery, it's going to put it everywhere. All right. So it's just kind of like a campaign. Um, so it saves you having to create separate campaigns on all the different platforms. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus button here and go new campaign. Now to get performance max as an option, you're going to need to select um, the campaign objective of sales, leads, or local store visits and promotions. Okay. If you, if you select some of the other ones, it just won't come up. So I am going to choose sales because what I'm doing is I'm sending people to this page, which sells a retargeting course. Okay. So I'm going for sales. So then we need to uh, tell Google, well, what goal are they going to be optimizing for? Okay. And by default, it puts all the conversions from your account here. So I'm going to remove the ones which are not relevant. So I'm going to remove this one. Obviously, this does not delete it from my account. It's just deleting it from being optimized at this particular campaign. So I'm going to remove this. Remove that. And so all I have is it's going to optimize for a sale, which if I hover over this, this is um, for people who've purchased the challenge. Okay. You can also add a goal here, but no need to. We've already set it up already. I'm going to click continue and here it becomes performance max available. So I'm going to click that. It's going to ask to link. Do I want to link to a merchant center account? Because it can also put your ads uh, in Google Shopping, not selling e-commerce products. So I get rid of that. And I'm just going to keep this campaign name the same, but obviously you would name it something that is relevant for you. So we hit continue. And you can see it's going to walk me through step by step. If I hover over here, this might already be uh, visible when you do it alongside me. But these are the steps that I'm going to, they're going to walk me through in order to get this campaign live. Okay. So I'm going to give it a budget. So let's just say $20 a day. Okay. The bidding, I've got basically two options for bidding conversions or conversion value. So conversions being like the quantity of conversions which is so it's going to maximize the conversions. Or if I go conversion value, it's going to optimize for a certain value. Okay. So if I do conversions, I can set what's called the target cost per action, cost per action or a target CPA amount. And by default, it comes up with the, um, with a target CPA based on my account performance. But if that's too high, I could reduce this. And really, this is your way of telling Google, this is what I would like to buy sales for, optimizing for that sale. Um, or you can just say, you know, I don't want to give it a target CPA, just, you know, just get me, get me sales if you want. If you choose this one, it's going to do a target return on ad spend. So target ROAS as a percentage. So you might do, you know, 3x, so 300%. Um, so but for, for me, I'm going to do uh, conversions and I'm going to set a target CPA for, for that. Okay. So you choose what is relevant for you and we click next. All right. Pretty self-explanatory here. We choose a location. So I am going to do United States and I'm going to target. And obviously you can exclude locations as well. So if I, let's say, want to exclude, um, I don't know, Australia, right? For whatever reason I can, and then I click exclude. So I'm including, um, uh, United States, but I'm excluding Australia, which I can do. Uh, language is English. We click more settings. Okay. Add schedule, which this is when I can restrict my ads 
for showing up on certain days of the week or hours of the day. So Monday to Friday, nine to five, if you're like, I'm going to leave this as all day for me. You can set a start and end date. That's fine. Final URL expansion. This is one you need to look at. So the default setting is to for it to be on, which is Google's going to choose which page that you're going like when someone clicks on your ad, they're going to be they're going to land on. Okay, so if you've got lots of pages on your site that kind of carry a lot of the heavy lifting um, for for what you're going to be running an ad for, then you could choose this. You can also exclude some some URLs. But for me, it's going to be quite targeted, as much as targeted as I kind of can be with a performance max campaign. So I'm going to turn this off because I want to tell Google, no, I don't want you to choose where you send people on my website. I want to tell you exactly the page that I want people to land on when they um, click on my ad. And it's going to be this page, the challenge page. Okay, so I am going to leave that, um, change that to that. Okay, so all the other settings are fine and we click next and this is when we need to create what's called an asset group all right this is new terminology for Google where it's basically we're going to uh, write our ads and then later down here we're going to choose our targeting essentially so we can just leave it as asset group one obviously you can rename it if you like and this is where we kind of the fun part right we're going to write our ads so the final URL is uh, where people I want to send people when they click on my ad. So I am going to put in this URL. Oopsie. Copy and paste. Okay. And as you can see here, these are the various places that my ad will be seen. Okay. So I can add up to 15 different images here. So let me hit plus image. It will scan your website. So I could put my URL in here and it will scan to find images to use. I personally don't want to do that, so I'm just going to go to recently used and I'm going to select uh, a couple of images to use and we click save. Cool, so we've got that. Actually, we should have probably included a square image. So let's save that. So let's add that to there. Um, so yeah, you would obviously uh, you can upload your video, your images and um, I've just got ones that are already loaded in. We add our logo. Let's see if it picks it up. Our logo. No, okay, we'll just use this. That's fine. I'll use this as our logo. Cool. Alrighty. And as you can see, as I've loaded in these images and logo, it's already starting to give me a preview of what my ad is going to look like on the various platforms. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do a video because I don't have a video. Uh, if you do have a video, then by all means um, incorporate it and then it will obviously be on YouTube as well as display and discovery. Anyway, okay, so here we're going to ha add in up to five different headlines. By default, it's going to show at least three. So you need to add at least three, but you can add up to five headlines and then it will choose and mix and match of um, three of the five. Okay, then we're going to have to put in a long headline, uh, description uh, and all that info. So I'm just going to pause this video while I put in the headlines and descriptions. So don't, no need for you to watch me uh, do that. So I'll just pause. Okay, so I have filled in these headlines descriptions, uh, long headlines, etc. And as you can see here, it's showing me a preview of what it looks like um, on all the different platforms. Okay, so Gmail, I can see what it looks like. Um, I've got to add a business name down here. So I've also got to add in a call to action. So I'm just going to do learn more. Okay, and I'm going to add in my business name of teach traffic. And yeah, then you can see here, um, it is mix and matching the um, the headlines that I provided. So that's what it looks like on Google search. And um, yeah, so really your job is just to make sure it kind of looks okay. And um, yeah, obviously I've just whacked something together now. I probably put a bit more thought into the headlines and descriptions. I was just doing it for the purpose of this video. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to give the audience a signal, right, which is really our targeting. Okay, this is kind of definitely an important step. So we want to add an audience signal, okay? So it's obviously I've got some previous audiences that I've got, or I can create a new audience here. Okay, so these are the different types of audiences. So I might want to be targeting people who are interested in Google Ads, right? And we can do a custom segment, which is people based on their search activity, downloaded apps and stuff, your data, which is like my retargeting lists and detailed interests and demographics and, and there's demographics down here. Okay. So for custom segments, we can, um, I've got, you know, I've got some segments already, um, but, or I can create a new custom segment. So let's say I want to create a new custom segment. I'm going to give it a name. So let's say call it Google Ads. And perhaps, and then I go people who, uh, with any of these search interests or purchase intentions or people who search for any of these terms on Google. So here is where I would uh, type in, you know, Google Ads. Oops, not two Ds. <laughs> Silly. Uh, it's going to come up. So yeah, so Google Ads and Google AdWords, it's going to give me Google Display Network and then obviously it comes up with um, various uh, suggestions and I'd really kind of go as crazy as you possibly can um, with this because um, it, this is very loose, um, sorry I'm trying to multitask here, this is sort of very loose targeting, okay, so really the you want to add as many uh, keywords as you can here that are, is relevant to it. And as I've obviously I keep adding, then the impressions are going to change. So uh, search ads, Google ads. And I'm also going to put in like Google retargeting because that's what this challenge is about. We'll see what populates here as well. Uh, display retargeting, cool. Uh, Google Ads remarketing campaign, Google search retargeting, and I'm going to add Google retargeting. Okay, so you get the idea. Obviously, uh, you do this for your own uh, niche or niche for Americans. We click save. Uh, Google Ads too. I'll just give it a created that already. Cool. So we've got our custom segment here of that. If I start incorporating retargeting here, then what's going to happen is it's going to mix into my retargeting campaign in my account. And I don't really want to do that. And if I go here, uh, browse demographics, oh no, sorry, whoopsie, this one, I might want to restrict my ads for certain demographics. So let's say I just want 25 to let's say 54 and both male and female. And obviously, if you've got a certain product which is skewed towards a certain uh, gender and age, then you would um, restrict that as well. Okay, so um, yeah, obviously with my data here, it's going to come up with my retargeting audiences, website visitors, etc. So uh, I just I want to just keep it as cold traffic. Okay, so I click save and. There we have done that. Cool. I click next and then it's going to ask me, do I want to use account level site link? So these are ad extensions uh, and I want to create campaign level site links and you can obviously add a new site link. Site links are additional links below your ad. So they will link to a different page on your site than what your ad is going to. So I might do about us. Cool. I'll do them. Call out um, are also, they are not clickable, but they are uh, an additional component to your ad. So let's do join over 3000, updated for iOS, ask questions online. Cool. I don't want to do call extensions. And then we click next. And there we have it. We publish our campaign. It's probably going to take about 24 hours for it to be approved. And if we go here, you can see here we've got a performance max here. And then go to all campaigns, campaigns, and we can see here is our new performance max campaign that we've just created. This one. All right. And as promised, I'm going to show you the other performance max campaign that I ran here. Okay. So if we go into it here, 
If we go to asset groups, it's going to not really show us a lot of information. Uh, that's our asset group, but really we want to see an overview and basically the results were really, really poor, I have to say. Um, I find this the interface really difficult to navigate, but basically uh, if we change this, yeah, we want it to be daily, that's fine. We want this to be clicks. So I got 243 clicks, it cost me $105 and I had zero conversions. Pretty terrible, huh? So to be honest, I think Google's kind of got a little bit of a way to go. Admittedly, I didn't give it very long, probably ran for about four or five days, but zero results from it. And uh, yeah, I probably look to improve the creative uh, before I really kind of rule it out completely. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.